men, when you look at your wife, who do you see? And is that person different in your eyes from the bride that you married? Is she maturing with grace, elegance, and dignity? Or does she look like she's been ridden hard and put away wet? Today, you're going to find out how that happens and who's responsible. So guys, today's podcast is all about one question that every man needs to ask. And we really need to ask it all throughout the course of your marriage, whether you've been married one year, whether you're, whether you've been married 10 years, uh, I've been married 30 years, 50 years, it doesn't matter. And let me start off before I tell you what that question is. Let me start off with a verse in first Corinthians chapter 11, verse seven, the apostle Paul writes this for a man is the image and glory of God. But a woman is the glory of man. Now, you can interpret that however you want, and that's fine for you. But when I read that, I think, man, my wife, I as a man am a reflection of Jesus in me. But my wife is a reflection of how I treat her. So the question is this, guys. Here's the question you need to ask yourself. That woman that you married, she was beautiful when you married her. She was attractive when you married her. You were drawn to her as when you married her. You were you were physically tempted to be with her before you married her, right? Hopefully you uh, overcame that and you you uh, did the right thing. But she was beautiful in your eyes. No man marries a woman that he's not attracted to, right? So I'm operating under that assumption. But here's the question you need to ask yourself: Is my wife ugly? Is when you look at your bride now, is she ugly? Does she look like she's been ridden hard and put away wet? Or is she glowing with dignity and elegance because she's been well loved by you? You know, Doug Weiss in his book, Clean, and this is a book on sexual purity, he lists several symptoms of depression and the percentage of those who live with an addict as a husband. So he studied women who are were, were married to an addict and the percentage of their depression uh, and the, the, the how they are depressed and how that manifests. So let me dive into this. So 74% were what we call the heavy wife or the wife who deals with her husband's addiction with overeating. And when I think of addiction, I'm just thinking a guy who is so focused on other things, he's not treating his wife the way she should be treated. So 70% of those women became heavy overeating women. 78% were haggard wives. In other words, in other words they were haggard, worn down. They were unable to sleep or or they overslept, were unable to get out of the bed. I call the hindered wife. These are wives that are low energy and they're fatigued. 71% would be the hurried wife. This is a woman who's feeling restless and she's always stressed out. 69% are what I call the hampered wife. This is a woman who has poor concentration or inability to make choices. 78% is a hopeless wife. This is a woman who feels hopeless and lost within the relationship and within her own life because she sees no way out of it. You know, it's really interesting. I just ran into this woman the other day. I, I, I went to do something and I was doing something with this person's husband. And when I opened the door or knocked on the door, this person answered. And the first words out of her mouth were, I just... If he doesn't change, I'm out of here type of thing. And just this look of hopelessness in her eyes after almost two decades of marriage. 33% I would call the homicidal wife. This is a wife who's feeling like killing herself. She's suicidal. 82% are the hapless wife. This is a woman who feels depressed or unhappy. And 62% are what I call the homebody wife, which is a diminished. This is a woman who has a diminished uh, interest uh, in, is she hapless? And is she a homebody who has no driver's zeal in life? Guys, I want to just say this with all the love I can muster, but that's, that's on you. If your wife is ugly in your eyes and you are no longer attracted to her, that is your problem. Yes, it is her problem, but her problem is your problem, and her problem is a symptom of your problem. And so the best way to fix your wife is to fix you. 
your wife will become a glowing, beautiful, dignified, elegant version of herself as you treat her the way that she deserves. So the best way to do that is to discover what made her that way, what about you created this in her, and realize you are a fixer. You are a conqueror. You can get this done. You've got this. Become the man that she deserves and watch your ugly wife become beautiful again. Men, if this podcast today has helped you, please consider partnering with us with a monthly or a one-time donation. You can do that at meninarena.org slash donate. Every dollar helps. And remember, when a man gets it, everyone wins. Until next time, feel the wet sand on the arena floor. Hear the deafening roar of the crowd. Taste the sweetness of victory. Smell the stench of battle. Get in the game. Get dirty. Grind it out and be a man.